You guys, I got to work on something pretty cool. Nikon actually reached out to me after my ZF video and wanted to include me on their Z8 project. Basically, they gave eight creators eight days with the Nikon Z8. Took the opportunity to finally work with my good buddy, Ben Christensen. He's a photographer and director who lives for the West out in Arizona. So much so, he lives his life around this one motto living my own Western. So in this video, I basically take you behind the scenes on this eight day project and share my thoughts on the Nikon Z8. Oh, we're doing some theatric Western type stuff. For all the shots, I'm gonna use the 50 millimeter 1.2. <laughs> I did not see that coming. And then for the rest, we're gonna do zooms going back and forth between, you know, cinematic and more documentary type stuff. First pulls me up, so pull me up like this. Perfect, okay. Yeah. Hold that. And then pull. Action. Perfect. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So let's try it again. I gotta follow through. Mm -hmm. I wanna do more dead center. Action. Pull. Set. Action. Pull. Perfect. Okay. All right, guys, on this next shot, I should be going to a tripod, but the Ibis. It's so freaking solid in this camera. I'm just going to do this handheld because we're limited on time today. You know, we can't be going back and forth to a gimbal, tripod, handheld. We don't need a tripod today. We're doing cowboy shit. Are you good? Yeah. You got good? Yeah. Well, I got it. Yep. I'm going to do playback right now. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. I was like, fast you go, and the more you're gliding on top of everything. Dude. Yeah. Dude, we can do it again. But you can cut closer where I pass the camera. Yeah. So I'm doing manual focus for this. I just want ultimate control. So I'm going to go into the controls in here. Focus ring rotation range. You can change this from 90 degrees all the way up to 720 degrees to max. What this does is this increases the range that this can spin in order to grab focus. So I can fine tune it. Doing this isn't going to make a drastic change. Doing this is barely going to do anything. So I got to really kind of crank on this at 720 degrees. Let's go back to a bunch of gimbal stuff here. Um, I wanted to share everything on the 50, but it's going to be too much of a constraint. So we're putting the 24 to 72 8 on, which still looks great. Uh, and it just helps with, you know, running around quick and versatility. So the beginning is perfect. Perfect. I can do another little fall right here. Yeah. Cool. Amazing. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, yep. dude, that looks That's so it. Awesome. All right, guys, we're on day five, four or five. We just did a cool little morning uh, cold plunge over here. Got woken up for the rest of filming today. And uh, yeah, that was nice. Whole crew jumped in. Pretty freaking cool. Oh, shoot. Sorry. most badass human being ever he's like he's like cool hand luke he's like james dean he's like shaquille o'neal i think the number one thing that i find crazy about the z8 is the fact that nikon is giving us 12-bit internal raw with their end raw in my day of testing i found out that the included ProRes HQ actually has very similar performance to the end raw. The big difference obviously being when you go to push the footage, it also does 8K down sampled 8K and raw up to 120 frames per second, which I didn't even know that was possible. So yeah, it's kind of crazy how powerful this Z8 mirrorless camera is, honestly. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good all the way. 